Well, back now with a look at what's going wrong with Hampton Roads when it comes to attracting new business and new jobs. Our area has lagged behind in recovery from the recession. Oh, why are other areas of similar size passing us by leaps and bounds? Tonight, part one of our special series on the problem, the positives, and the solution. In our first part, 10 on your side's Andy Fox crunches the numbers to figure out what's wrong. U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, job growth since 2009. Hampton Roads is dead last among all these cities, including Detroit and Richmond. Two factors. This red line measures job growth. We haven't created a net new job in 10 years. We flatlined in job growth since 2008. Even worse, our bread and butter, the military, lost 29,280 uniform jobs since 2003, due in part to sequestration. Keeping in mind, our assets are envied by the same metro areas we lag behind. Chopper 10 shows our world-class port. We have the largest Navy base in the world. Atlantic Ocean tourism. People want a vacation here. Great quality of life and favorable cost of housing. What's wrong with us is a good question. Jim Spore is president and CEO of reInvent Hampton Roads and calls it lazy region syndrome. We have been vastly underperforming other regions around the country. Why is that? Well, we're too dependent on federal defense spending. We're a splinter community, unwilling to invest to diversify. We lack workers with needed skills and perhaps most importantly, ineffective leadership. I don't see public leadership being as engaged interactively at the regional level as they should be. Rick Weddle is president of the Hampton Roads Economic Development Alliance. He's turned around the cities of Orlando, Raleigh, and Phoenix, but he calls Hampton Roads his toughest challenge. In other cities that I've worked in, we wouldn't have to go 10 years without creating a job. If we'd just gone three or four years without creating a job, the business leader's hair would be on fire. Not so here. And the water that defines us is also a curse. We don't celebrate each other's success. Example, March 15, 2016, ADP announces 1,800 high paying jobs. It was not considered a regional win, only a Norfolk win. According to the ADP invitation list, no other elected official from another locality was even invited. We're not happy in Hampton Roads if another community wins. Economically, these days, everyone's happy in Charleston, South Carolina. They weren't, though, in 1993. That's when BRAC shut down Naval Station Charleston. And they organized and funded and, re and they started working together, not opposed to each other. Today, Charleston has a Boeing plant, a Mercedes-Benz Vans plant, and Charleston's job creation dwarfs the much larger Hampton Roads. We haven't learned how to cooperate to be competitive. Norfolk did have a Ford assembly plant, but that closed down in 2007 with 2,400 jobs lost. Charleston was ready, we are not. In all Virginia, we do not have any shovel-ready sites larger than 100 acres to lure a company like Mercedes-Benz Vans. John W. Wynn is board chair, reInvent Hampton Roads. You can look at both Charleston and Savannah that have been very aggressive at getting sites and getting locations there with jobs. How come we aren't doing that? Why are we not getting the sites right? I can't right? tell you that. How do I know? They haven't done it. And that's the problem. That's the problem. We need to do it. By the way, the state marketing budget for economic development, zero dollars. After two years at the Economic Development Alliance, Weddle is frustrated. I feel a lot like the messenger that everyone shoots. I feel alone in calling attention sometimes to the problems as they are. We asked W. Wynn to paint a picture of Hampton Roads if we fail to fix what's wrong with job growth. He told us our workers and companies will continue to leave, as will our children. To stop those things from happening, W. Wynn and others are spending a lot of time to fix what's wrong. I'll report what they are doing next Wednesday at 6. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.